Hi guys, back again. Thought I'd read this uh, letter that's gone out to the Vatican, as well as uh, 400 blind copies. Uh, Batron Minogue wrote this and sent it out. What an awesome job he's done too. Why are you ignoring Benedict's news about Christ returned? Clearly the Vatican is an entire fraud if none of you spiritual men are welcoming this news. Even if you are skeptical at first, which perhaps might be valid, I see zero sign that you are trying to learn more about Christ incarnate. Even I, who doesn't wear white costumes, took the time to gather up all the evidence that goes above and beyond the Shroud of Turin similarities. Apparently you also can't see prophecy unfolding perfectly, as predicted, including the rejection of Christ, which you are now partaking in. You are also disrespecting Emeritus Pope Benedict, which is pathetic, also known as the bystander effect, also known as bullying, also known as being non-spiritual, also known as being a loser. As well, you are contradicting yourselves by rejecting Benedict's apostolic letter. You are also getting in the way of Vatican III, which is meant to end this evil nonsense in the world and heal people. Even that means nothing to you. You reject Vatican III instantly versus even trying to consider it. By rejecting Vatican III by default, then it means you support the poisons put in our drinking water, cancer and mercury in our vaccines, and too many other crimes against humanity that you are supporting via your rejection of Christ in Vatican III. You can no longer hide in this modern age. There are rare technologies out there which can expose you and which are quickly catching up to you. Radionic photography can photograph any of you anywhere at any time. Controlled remote viewing, as developed by the US military, can find information about any of you, including events in your past. Do I need to continue? Yahweh has given me authority over you non-believers. Therefore, by the authority God has given me, and through my intention for the protection of humanity, I issue you this divine order. You have 48 hours to rush to the side of Emeritus Pope Benedict, now known as His Holiness Peter II. Welcome him, apologize to him, comfort him, rejoice in his news, call him by his new name, and bring him into the media to share this news to the world of Christ's return. If this does not occur within 48 hours, may the power of the Ark of the Covenant, where it sits now, reach its way to each and every one of you non-believers and zap you, thereby setting up biological transmutation effect which will continually bathe you with bad luck until God deals with you personally. Any attempt to seek revenge will activate this punishment immediately. So I have written, so it is done. If you are a believer but too afraid to help Benedict, reach out to me and I will try to help you. I can understand if you are caught in the middle of a tricky situation, but my offer of help won't last long. God and the Mother Divine are very upset and I cannot hold them back much longer. Those of you who submit and help Pope Peter, I promise to do everything I can to support you, love you and care for you as Yahweh has done for me. The return of Christ is what all of you have worked for. This is your time to shine and to show the world you truly care and are willing to make changes that reflect that. Vatican III is meant to help you too, as well as your family. Christ died on the cross for you. Currently, you are nailing him upon a new cross. Smart enough, signed it, Reichen. And there's a BCC gone out to 400 hidden email addresses and then the link to the Pope Emeritus Benedict Facebook page. Well done, Riken. Awesome. Gabrielle, you most certainly are. And yeah, so he goes along with that. Okay, I'll get this one.